beautiful swing, beautiful result. Hey guys, Christo Garcia, My Swing Evolution. Things are getting really, really cool around here. I've got some great news I'm gonna be breaking with you guys really, really soon about the future of my swing evolution. So as you guys know who've been following me, I've been talking about the Ben Hogan left arm connection. This whole year, it's been a big part of what I'm doing and uh, I'm doing it more and more now as a means to control my golf swing and how I return the club to the ball. Um, I've had a chance to play some skins this week. It's been a lot of fun. Usually, I have a history of, you know, always hitting golf balls and warming up and all of that because, you know, I'm so nervous about playing and what have you. But, you know, this week, I just drive to the golf course and walk to the first tee. I'd always admired the great golfers at my course and my other friends that could do that and play quite well. And, uh, you know, I've shot uh, 76 this week, 38, 38, uh, three birdies, few skins, a closest to the pin. You know, so that was really always the dream of my swing evolution was to be able to have a swing that I could depend on. And uh, I'm really happy now that I'm able to, you know, play a game that, that I'm proud of. You know, I mean, I'm not saying that I played the greatest game of my life, but you know, I felt pretty confident out there. And also, if you like nice. these videos, please click subscribe, hit a like, leave a comment. That helps us out a lot over here. And if you like what I teach, go to myswingevolution.com. I have a lot of great instructional videos that show you how I was able to rebuild my golf swing and transform my game. So let's dig into this video about my left arm connection and I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. All right, guys, I'm headed out to the skins game and I have my fresh sleeve of Quantix number one sleeve. This is the lucky sleeve to play in some skins. So we'll see how it goes. So this Quantix comes from the designer of the Maxfly DDH and the Titleist Tour Ballada, man. It's long and it spins like a Titleist. That's all I gotta say. And you can pick them up for 10% off with my code, my swing evolution. They're literally a tour level performance golf ball that you can get for like 29 bucks. Now, as I was saying, you know, I've been just rolling up to the first tee, you know, a few practice swings, stretch a little bit. I don't advise that, but some days you're just running late. But I've felt confident lately enough that I can step up to the ball and play some golf. And it's, it's just taken me 51 years to get here, this confident. Nice, so that worked out great. Nice That'll work. The old fairway finder. Now this is a narrow shot on number two. I pushed it to the right, had a little tree trouble. Started pulling back. Here on number four, I'm going to swing a little longer. And I have a tendency to push it out to the right when I try and swing harder. Number five, I've got a six iron into here. I caught that just a tad thin, but uh, it worked out all right for me. A good bounce. I was about, I don't know, I'm going to say four or five feet away. Not too far at all. Um, but this putt broke from right to left. I had to actually play it about a ball outside the right, which had me nervous. But I've been uh, working on my putting tempo. I got that one to fall. That was good for a, for a skin. So that was kind of a mix between a, a power drive and a control drive, but it worked out great for me. And then I, I got too greedy. Greedy Gretchen showed up and stole my shot. I clipped some of those leaves on the right. Ended up blowing the hole. Here on number seven, I piped it right up the middle with a little draw. Beautiful swing, beautiful result. The shot tracer program isn't perfect, but it's beautiful pretty result. good. It's pretty good. I did birdie this with the closest to the pin, about eight nice. feet. 
then I really wound up for this one. And nice. I lost my balance, push it to the right. I, was, I wasn't bad, I was just in a little bit of rough, but you know, the control swing is working for me. I'm wondering if it should be my all the time swing. Guys, golf shouldn't have to be so hard. The problem is information overload. There's so much info out there. It's like trying to build a race car by going to a junkyard and grabbing spare parts off of every old clunker. It's just not going to work. I wanted to have a great golf swing, so I narrowed my focus and just studied the swing of Ben Hogan. And guess what? It worked. Today, I'm one of the best golfers at my club. My swing evolution has over 20 million views, and I even got to play Ben Hogan on the Golf Channel. So if you want to become a great ball striker, go to MySwingEvolution.com, pick up the MSE Golf System, and start your swing evolution today. Hit them long and hit them straight.